G'day! In today's video, I'm doing a quick review of the Acer Nitro 5 2021 model. This one is running an i5 10300H, 8 gig of RAM, I've since upgraded to 16 gig, 500 gig NVMe, and a RTX 3060 and a 1920 by 1080 resolution, 144 hertz display. So this particular one, I bought as a basically on special at Harvey Norman, which is an Australian retailer. And this phone cost me 1300 Australian dollars, which with running with the 3060 in it, I thought was pretty good value for money. So I rolled the dice and gave Acer another try. Personally, I'm not really a fan of Acer products or Acer the brand, as I find I see a lot of school computers where they're all heavily damaged and usually fairly poor quality. And I've been quite surprised to find that the Acer Nitro 5 hasn't really been like that. The overall build quality out of I find of it to be perfectly adequate. The keys are full RGB, which for the similar price laptops I've found that it's usually a single colour only. The screen I've been finding perfectly good. A little bit on the dim side, but that's perfectly fine. 144Hz has been nice and smooth. The colour accuracy I haven't tested, but I'll be leaning towards it being rather poor. The keyboard layout I've been a fan of. Probably the only thing that I haven't liked with it has been the delete key and also the volume up and down. So the function side to do those is usually a bit tricky and I'm used to having the delete key directly above the backspace button. I found that the, uh, the overall upgradability of it to be rather nice. It's got two DIMM slots, it's also got two NVMe slots and a single SATA 2.5 inch slot in there. So expansion is definitely possible on this machine. Also with it I found that the USBs are fairly adequate where we've got Two on this side, the headphone jack, Ethernet, and on the other side we have Type-C, USB-A, or USB-3, and HDMI. The charger port is on the back of the device, which I did find it a little bit tricky to plug that in with use. So right here, you do have to physically push it in to click it into position. Another factor, thing to factor in is battery life. With most of my simple tests on here, I found that I've been able to get about four hours on YouTube with brightness turned down, keyboard turned off, and just running on the essentially the power saving mode that I used to have available in their software. Did find a bit of bloat on there as well, so gave the boot to Norton, which wasn't really necessary. I'm not a fan of it at all. But back to battery life, I find that if you were using it for school, it might be a little bit inadequate for that as you may be dropping down most of the settings to try and save that battery for as long as possible, especially if you need a full school day of the laptop in use. But overall, I find for around 1300 Australian dollars to get an RTX 3060, granted the i5 is only a quad core, but that is a decent trade-off as I've still found that the pairing of these two to be pretty decent value or pretty decent performance anyway, without blowing out your budget. So, yeah, I've been finding quite surprised, but I would definitely work, reckon it's worthwhile checking out the Acer Nitro 5 with the RTX 3060 and the 10300H. Anyway, I'll bring out a more in-depth review in the future, but that will do for today. Catches.